The UNITRO is the operation and control system of Westphalia Mineral Oil Separators, which enables operation in full auto mode. It supervises all bowl operations by controlling the water and sludge content of the bowl and ensures excellent cleaning efficiency of your heavy fuel oil. In the demonstration that follows, we will overview the entire operating sequence of the UNITROL system with graphical assistance. Let's take it from the beginning. The bowl is spinning at the full speed. The three-way valve is closed and the bowl is open and empty. The separator is currently in standby mode. With the beginning of the PLC program, two consequent bowl cleaning cycles are executed. On first approach, the bowl closes with the help of the operating water whose flow is directed in the lower part of the bowl. The water enters from the lower part of the bowl and gradually pushes the sliding piston which is colored green. The sliding piston moves upwards until the bowl is closed. Provided that the bowl is closed, the PLC energizes and opens the displacement water solenoid valve so that the bowl can be flooded with water in order to be cleaned by possibly remaining sludge particles. The bowl floods with water. After the bowl has filled with water, the PLC energizes and opens the operating water solenoid valve. Operating water enters the lower part of the annular piston, which we see colored red, and pushes it upwards until the water that withholds the sliding piston is released and the bowl is flushed. The water is slung out of the bowl. Given the bowl's spin velocity, water extrusion is equivalent to hydroblasting. This way, a perfect bowl cleaning is achieved. The operation is repeated for a second time during program initialization so that the second bowl cleaning cycle is concluded, therefore giving us the opportunity to review the whole process and consolidate it. After cleaning the bowl, we are now ready to commence the oil separating process. Initially, the bowl closes by following the operation previously described. The PLC energizes and opens the three-way valve, allowing product flow inside the bowl interior. The bowl fills with oil. The oil purification process now begins. With dark brown color, we can see the dirty oil inlet, while with light brown color, we can see the pure product outlet. Shortly after the separation process has started, we begin to observe water and sludge gathering on the ball periphery. During separation, heavier products are extruded to the periphery. The water monitoring system's objective is to detect water in the bowl so that it may be extracted. For that purpose, oil sampling is attained from the periphery. The product flows through the sampling line. As long as the water detector does not detect water, the solenoid recirculation valve opens and the product returns to the bowl. As soon as water has been detected by the water detector, the PLC energizes and opens the solenoid valve so that the water is released. Oil centrifusion is carried on.
Besides the water detector, the system allocates a sludge detector. Gradually, sludge is gathered in the bowl. Because sludge is heavy, it cannot flow up through the sampling line. This results in pressure drop inside the sampling line. The pressure drop is detected by the sludge monitoring system pressure sensor. This way, the sensor knows that there is high sludge presence in the ball periphery. The PLC then orders a ball ejection. The three-way valve closes and product flow towards the bowl is interrupted. Afterwards, a command is given, the solenoid valve opens so that the water displaces the fuel back to the service tank and thus minimizing fuel losses. At this point, another command by the PLC follows and operating water flows beneath the annular piston. The bowl opens while still spinning at full speed and all of the bowl contents are ejected. The operation is repeated once more in order to ensure a clean bowl, giving us the opportunity to review the whole process and consolidate it.